As more and more states pass legislation prohibiting the use of cell phones in cars, many users are turning to Bluetooth headsets, like this one, to use hands-free in their cars. What many consumers don't know is that Bluetooth technology can be exploited, allowing a remote attacker to capture the Bluetooth conversation, including injecting arbitrary audio into the Bluetooth headset. My name is Joshua Wright. I'm going to demonstrate an attack where we can remotely capture and inject audio on a Bluetooth headset. A lot of people believe that Bluetooth technology is limited to short range, only 10 meters. Unfortunately, that's not true. Bluetooth technology can be extended to well over a mile when equipped with the appropriate equipment. What I've done here is taken a standard Bluetooth dongle and modified it to connect to an external antenna. I'm using a 9 dBi gain patch directional antenna, which I'm going to point at the Starbucks behind me. In order to stay inconspicuous, I've placed the antenna and my laptop in my bag here, pointed on my hip to the store behind me. I'm going to control it remotely using my Nokia 770 handheld over a wireless connection. This gives me the ability to do the attack while still looking like I've got a reason to be standing here. I'm using a standard Linux workstation and you can see I've configured my Bluetooth stack with a default pin value of 0000. This matches the default pin used on most Bluetooth headset devices. I also have a Bluetooth dongle connected to my, my laptop and if we take a look at the class information we can see that by default it's characterized as the part of the computer class. We're going to change this information so that any remote device thinks that we're actually a Bluetooth phone. So I change the class information to reflect that I'm actually a cellular phone instead of a computer device. This is important because many Bluetooth headsets will reject connections from anything other than uh, phone Bluetooth devices. In order to mount the attack, I'm going to use the Car Whisperer tool. Now, I'm not actually sniffing on an active Bluetooth conversation. Instead, I'm going to connect to the Bluetooth headset when it's not in an active call, and I'm going to use the microphone to record any audio that's within range of the pickup of that microphone, including anything that's spoken by the person wearing the headset. I can also optionally inject arbitrary audio into the headset as well. I'm going to run the Car Whisperer tool, specify my uh, Bluetooth interface, Here's the file that I'm going to play for that person. I'm going to save the contents in another file. And here's the BD adder of the device that I'm targeting. Now I've connected the remote system. And I'm recording and playing audio to the Bluetooth headset device. Hi, can I get a bagel with cream cheese, please? And your phone number? <laughs> no, I didn't think that'd work either. Yes, I'd still like the, the bagel. Thank you. It just goes to show that you can't trust the security of a Bluetooth headset when the only authentication requirement is a fixed pin value of 0000. This allows a remote attacker to eavesdrop in on your Bluetooth conversation and inject arbitrary audio in through the headset. If you've enjoyed this segment, I encourage you to check out my wireless security class with the SANS Institute. My name is Joshua Wright. Thanks for viewing.